Just threw a little statistics in for those of you who are interested in this. This is 2008 and you can see that this is the number of USEF competitions and this is the number tested, which is a fair amount, okay? Um, and uh, I'm going to show you some more, the number of samples. You can see this is 2000 and we're going across 2007. 2008 was above that, 2009 was slightly below, just at about that level, a little bit higher than that. Um, so uh, what you see is this is how many samples we do a year in USEF lab. Uh, and we're the reference lab for FEI in, in the Americas. And then we also do the quarter horse testing and almost every other major breed and discipline testing. The, it's pretty much broken down by the discipline. So the two biggest breed and disciplines within USEF are the hunter jumpers, they're the biggest. Second to that is, a lot of people get surprised by this, is the Arabians, okay? They're the next biggest, okay? And so the bulk of the testing goes on there. Okay, between those two disciplines. And then, but then you see it sequentially, it's spread out very nicely amongst the other breeding disciplines. So everybody gets tested. USEA has gone ahead and, and agreed with USEF to a separate contract so that some of their lower levels get tested as well. And uh, they wanted to see increased testing. And the individual breeding disciplines can do that. Um, say the uh, Arabian or the Morgan disciplines, they, at their end of the year shows they want to see increased testing that is outside that would throw a wrench into that little nice little we test proportionally to the membership, okay, and that would throw that out of whack. So they pay for that. They, they have a contract and they pay for that.